By extending your Android application with Google Assistant, your users can launch and complete tasks with your app faster. App Actions is how developers can integrate Google Assistant into your Android app, and is how end users can launch and control Android apps with their voice. Let's take the user journey of ordering a pizza. It can be quite a process if your app isn't voice enabled. First, your user will have to find the app icon in the sea of icons. Then find in the app where they can start an order. Then select that they want to order a pizza. And finally, customize their pizza to include the sauces, cheeses, and toppings they want. Not too bad, but imagine a user being able to say, hey Google, order a pizza from example app. And the app is automatically open and an order started. Now all they need to do is customize the pizza. So much easier. App Actions allows Android developers to add voice commands to their apps to accelerate tasks like these for your users. By saying, hey Google, order a pizza from example app, there's enough context to open the example app directly to the order page for a pizza. From a user's perspective, this might feel magical, but you can think of this experience as two parts. First is processing the user's input, in which you'll be harnessing the power of Google's natural language understanding to figure out what your user wants to do in your app. The second is fulfillment, what you want to present to your user as a response. Let's go over how it works, key concepts, and highlight some key features. Let's break down what is happening with the example of ordering a pizza. When a user says, hey Google, order a pizza from example app. Google Assistant will process the user's input using Google's NLU and matches an intent from the user's speech. Assistant knows which capabilities you support when your app is uploaded to the Play Store. Capabilities represent in a generic way for an app to expose external entry points into the app. In this example, Assistant uses a capability that matches the built-in intent of order menu item. A built-in intent, or BII for short, is a predefined trigger for a specific kind of functionality that the user wants to do. In this example, it's order menu item, which supports user journeys of ordering a specific menu item or cuisine type. Google builds and maintains language models for BIIs to understand every possible variation of a query that relates to that particular intent, meaning you don't have to. BIIs already support many different languages, and we're always improving them. Because of this, as Google Assistant improves its language support, your app automatically benefits from these efforts. The majority of BIIs also have fields, which identify possible elements in a user's query, which will be passed to your Android application as parameters. For this example, pizza will be passed as a parameters value. So the Assistant has matched the BII of order menu item and has pulled an intent parameters from the user's request. It knows about your supported capabilities because they are listed in your shortcuts.xml along with how to fulfill them. Then it launches the app using the Android intent that was declared in the capability. This jumps users straight into the app's correct screen as well as any of the parameters the user provided. With this example, the capability used a BII. Let's dive a little deeper on what kinds are available. App Actions supports tons of BIIs, and there's a whole category of common BIIs that the majority of Android apps can use, like Open App Feature, which allows users to launch an app's feature, or Get Thing, which searches for a specific thing using the default in-app search feature in the application. Make sure to check this list out first when considering using BIIs. We also have so many more BIIs that we've organized them into several categories. Here's just a few of them, like order food, communication, and fitness. Check out the docs for the full list of BIIs. For unique functionality that isn't supported with BIIs, developers can use custom intents. Custom intents are developer-created intents that function similar to BIIs, although you need to provide additional information. We recommend using BIIs first, and if you cannot find the functionality you want to use, then use custom intents. Check out the docs for more information. This is just the beginning of App Actions. There's tons of features and toolings that you can use to support voice controls. Once you have a capability defined, you can also define shortcuts that invoke the capability. You can think of shortcuts as an instance of a capability with some of its parameters having predefined values. 
Shortcuts are ideal for situations when users leave out information or assume your application already contains that information. For example, if you're using the Create Taxi Reservation BII, a user might say something like, hey Google, order me a ride home from example app. Home isn't an actual address, but with shortcuts, you can take that into account that users would say home and you could have your Android app handle that correctly by passing home as a token so your app can resolve this. For your most critical user journeys, you can suggest to your users to create an assistant shortcut in your app, which is a phrase that triggers a particular shortcut. For example, at the end of purchasing our pizza from the example before, you can offer the user to create an assistant shortcut. So the next time they say, hey Google, get my usual pizza, the Android app opens with the user's preferred pizza and is ready to be ordered. In-app promotion allows a developer to initiate the creation of an assistant shortcut. You could do this by constructing a special deep link that has the app's own deep link parameters inside it. You could utilize widgets as a way to fulfill a user's query. This option is great for situations that require a short or simple response. For example, a user who forgot what time a reservation is at and wants to easily get the time of the reservation. Finally, regardless of what you want to implement, you'll want to test out your app actions before publishing your app. You can do that with Google Assistant's plugin for Android Studio. This was a brief overview of app actions. If you want to get started learning how to build, check out our collabs for a step-by-step -step guide on how to build your first app actions. And of course, check out our docs for more details. Join our dev community on Reddit, where you can chat with other Action on Google developers and stay up to date by following us on Twitter. I'm Jessica, thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see what you build.